And we're now here with um, USC men's volleyball head coach Jeff Nigger. And coach, a little bit of a match I know you would have liked to have gone differently. Your team loses in four games to Ohio State, but how would you assess your team's performance tonight? Well, I don't think either team played as clean as they're used to. Um, Ohio State came out, and as they do, they just bombed their jump serves, which they've had a lot of success with. And it took us a little while to acclimate to the speed and the consistency of it. But I felt towards the game three, game four, we actually started passing pretty well. Um, I'm proud of the fact that we competed for the entire match, which that's a lot of growth from what I've seen in the past. So we competed at a high level. We did some great things. We were able to block them when they're out of system, which is one of their strengths. I liked the, a lot of the progression that my team did. There's still tons of things that we can work on to improve. Um, got to get better transition. We got to get better calling and got to do a little bit better routes, make smarter decisions, and execute. Um, if we get those things going, then. Uh, I like what we're going to be doing. And Coach, I do want to ask you about one player in particular, Lucas Yoger. Yeah. Had 15 kills tonight, hit more than 300. Can you just talk about his progression and what he's been able to do to continue to improve since we last saw him in May? One of the things that has always impressed me about Lucas is he's a natural passer, meaning in his entire career he just has the touch on the ball. He sees it, he reacts to it, and he's able to corral it, put it where it needs to be done. So having that in your mind as a player knowing that you can always rely on at least one facet of which is a big facet of the game has enabled him to expand another horizon so i've challenged him to be much more of a threat from the service line i've challenged him to develop as a blocker and then i've challenged him to do a few other things as well in terms of leading being a fourth year senior and he's always been a good attacker so i expect big things from him because i think we uh, we're going to need him if we want to make a good push towards the end and coach, you know, we saw a lot of players in your lineup tonight. You know, how valuable are these early season matches? Just to kind of figure out who your starting six is going to be for the rest of the season. Well, given the fact that in the fall we had some of the guys that I would have considered um, to be starters out with injuries, we really had a chance to develop a lot of players, which that fast tracked quite a bit of the growth and development of this team. So, getting some more guys out there tonight that weren't quote unquote starters gave me another chance to see their progression against a real good opponent. Um, there's no way to assess in-game talent and in-game ability without just putting them out there. So, got a lot of good information about seeing where guys are. Um, moving forward as the starters, I'm more and more comfortable on a daily basis with how these guys are expanding their game, what they're doing for us. Their teamwork is coming together. Their cohesion is coming together. There's a lot of things that are positive right now. All right, Coach, a final question. We'll let you go on this. It's about oh, 10 degrees outside. Is your team surviving the cold okay? My guys are walking around in sandals and in shorts. The Columbus people are looking at us and calling us idiots, which my guys are experiencing. There's actually a couple guys that have never seen snow fall from the sky. There's some guys that have never even been in snow. So they're actually enjoying the situation. And whether it's single digits or double digits, they also know that we're leaving in a couple days. So they're having a blast. Hey,